Thank you for watching, and this is Charles the Dragon Lawson. And I'm just going to show you guys some simple techniques here on solving some Sudoku puzzles. Uh, right now I have it set on medium difficulty level. And as you begin to grasp these concepts, you'll want to, of course, step it up to a more difficult level. Uh, so we're just going to start by solving this uh, by doing the simple ones first, then we'll move into the more complicated formulas. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is the obvious ones. As you can see right here, it's going to be 1. You know, just simple deduction, the 1 across, the 1 across, and the 1 down leaves the only spot open for a 1. So we'll go ahead and just solve all these simple ones first. And the next one is obviously going to be this 2 right here, as we have the 2 coming across and leaving that one blank. And with these techniques I'm going to be showing you, there is absolutely no need to write a number down unless it absolutely goes there. So there will be no erasing with the techniques I'm going to show you. You just got to have a sharp memory. And of course the uh, next one is going to be these 9's go down and this 9 crosses, so we're going to put in a 9 right here. And the next one, these fives go across, leaving this one blank, so we will go ahead and fill that in with the five. We're just going to do all these simple ones first, and then as they get more complicated, I'll show you some of the more difficult formulas. And of course over here we're going to have a three, and another three right here. And over here we are going to have a one, and down here is going to be an eight. And of course that leads us to this 8 right here. And we'll go ahead and finish that off by putting another 8 up here. And of course these two 8's go across over here to the top left and leaves this one open. And these 8's are just being nice to us because we have another one right in here. Now to solve these three squares right here, we're going to use a simple technique that I will show you. It's quite simple actually. As you can see, the three numbers that go right here to connect this one through nine, the missing numbers are one, two, and four. So you're just going to think in your, in your head, okay, can one, two, or four go here? And as you can see, we have a two and a four, so that one has to be one. There's a four right there, so we have a two and now we have a 4 so we just completed that one simple enough okay now let's complete this row right here we have three messy numbers and they are 1, 5, and 6 so it's going to be the same technique, we'll look through these okay and we see a 1 here, a 1 here, so that one's obviously going to be a 1 right there, uh, another way we could figure this out is 1 5 and 6. And we know this is going to be a 1, so it has to be a 5 because there's a 1 there, which leaves this one to be 1. Now, using a different technique, we'll figure out this next row down right here where we have the four missing numbers. And of course, the missing numbers are 5, 6, 7, and 9. If you count, you got 1, 2, 3, excuse me, I mean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we have an 8, and 9 is missing. So it's 5, 6, 7, and 9. So we'll start with the first one, 5. There's a 5 coming down there, and a 5 in this box. So none of these can be 5. That one can't be 5. There's our 5. So now the remaining numbers left are 6, 7, and 9. And as you can see, as I just moved this box out of the way, we cannot fill in those three yet. Now I'm going to show you a technique I call the invisible numbers. Down here in the bottom of the middle square, we have two messy numbers, 7 and 9. So we know these are going to be a 7 or 9. We have a 7 right here. And we know we're going to have a 7 right here, so we can take 7 across and 7 across here, which leaves this one open as a 7. Then, of course, we could fill that in with the number that's missing, and it is a 6. And now we're just going to 
fill in the rest of this row right here. We know we are missing 4, 7, and 9. There's a 4 taking up this box, so that means 4 has to be right here to fill in this line. And then we'll have to figure out the 7 and 9 a little bit later on. Now we are going to try and solve this column going down the second to last column. And the three missing letters are 3, 4, and 9. Now in this row we have a 4 and a 9, so that obviously leaves 3 to go right there. Now we just have to uh, solve the 4 and the 9, which we must do at a later time. But something we can do, since we got this 3 here, that now filled in the 3, 4 right here. So we'll go ahead and put that in. It's a simple one. Now we have a rather simple one here to solve the second column to the left down. We have a 1 and a 2 missing. Since we have a 1 in this square, obviously this one at the top is going to be 1 and fill in the last one as a 2. As you can see, we're starting to get this filled in pretty quickly here. As we get more numbers, obviously the easier it gets. So let's try and simplify things a little bit here. We have a 2 that crosses up through here, which leaves this one blank for a 2. And down in this bottle middle, middle square, we can do the 5s, a 5 going across here, and a 5 coming down, which leaves this one open as a 5. And of course, if we take these fives across the bottom, it leaves this one open as a five as well. And again, we have a four we can take across and leave that as a four. And of course, that leaves one left to solve on this one, which is obviously a seven. So we'll go ahead and fill that in. And then the last one over here, which is going to be a six. And things are just getting quite easy now, so we'll go ahead and put in the 2 over here to fill in that last one as well. And we also have a 2 right here. As you can see, we got this 2 crossing over and this 2 crossing down. Now let's attempt to fill in these 4 missing ones in the top row. Looks like we have a 2, 4, 7, 9 as the letters that are missing. And just remember, I'm putting these bubbles up just to kind of give you a visual, but I mean, four numbers is really easy to keep in your head. When you get good at this, you can keep five or six of these numbers in your head, and then you just kind of do this deduction in your mind. So we have a two, four, seven, and a nine up on this top row, and I'm just going to take this bubble out here. So two, four, seven, nine. Now right here we have two, four, seven, nine. Now here we're going to use the same thing. We have a 6 and a 9 missing, and there's a 6 and a 9, so 6 and a 9. And we'll fill in the last one in this row. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we are missing the 7. Same with this one. We will fill in the last one there, which is a 9. And right here we also have another completion. And it looks like it's going to be a 6 right there another completion right here. As you can see, we pretty much wrap this up, folks. So thank you for watching, and I hope that this really helped out your Sudoku playing. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish this up real quick for you. And there we have it, the completed puzzle. Thank you for watching Sudoku by Charles the Dragon Lawson.